Uh, what inspires me is a little bit different to what inspires other people. I love that it's really difficult. So I love that a product can change overnight. I love that there's a lot of pressure uh, and I work really well on pressure. Uh, and I also like the fact that the world's our oyster. You can work from anywhere uh, with a technology company. You work with people from all walks of life. Uh, and the fact that uh, you can kind of start with an initial idea and expand it uh, with these endless opportunities. For women in technology, there's massive opportunity. Uh, the fact that we can bring in a different viewpoint, uh, you know, females are 50% of the world if you think about it like that, uh, and we've got so much to contribute on how technology will help define women, help uh, make their lives better, uh, and then also just contribute to the community as a whole. Being a female entrepreneur in the tech uh, community in New Zealand has been uh, really interesting. Uh, it hasn't all been good. It's been uh, challenging at times, and especially being a young female in tech uh, has its flaws. But what I can say is that for any female in tech is to understand your market, understand your customers. If you don't know the answer to a question, really drill in and figure out uh, how you can stand in front of a board or your advisors and be as convincing as possible and really know your stuff. Uh, so just really, if you have got skills that you need to improve on, just get right in there and drill into them and be this, be the expert in what you know. Uh, it's a really important to understand that it's not always going to be bad and it's not always going to be good. But just to make the most out of the opportunity, put it down to a learning experience at the end of the day. Uh, but just keep going, be motivated, be passionate. There's no one else like you and you just have to keep going. <laughs>